this is another clip as well that I find fucking incredible. Incredible, 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 incredible. Personally, I feel like if you're married to a Mexican woman who you say is 100% Mexican and not Taco Bell Mexican and is from Guadalajara, in my opinion, I feel like you should be able to pronounce Modelo. Is that a stretch or is that fair to say? If your spouse is Mexican or if your spouse is from, you know, a fucking South American country, a Central American country, you should be able to pronounce Modelo. It shouldn't be too difficult to pronounce Modelo if your spouse is Mexican, in my opinion. But listen to how Brenda pronounces Me uh, <laughs> Modelo. <laughs> you know, you order the alcohol on the list and it was like, you know, uh, Modelo, $18, you know, yeah. Coors, $18. But like Bud 14 Light, cents. Dude, eight bucks. <laughs> eight bucks. And they, it, it, it's Modelo. Have you heard anybody pronounce a Modelo, Modelo in your entire life? Like, I'm not even the biggest Modelo drinker in my, in my life, right? Usually, I tend to kind of crack open a Modelo when you're away, when you're fucking on vacation. They usually just hit way different. I don't know why. Buying a Modelo here from fucking Tesco's or Sainsbury's and chucking it in my fridge just doesn't hit, hit the same. When I did visit Mexico City, however many years I went, or when I went to fucking Nicaragua, or when I went to, went to fucking Honduras, it's nice to have those fucking beverages over there. But usually, for the most part, if you have any fucking you know, um, grasp of the Spanish language or any grasp of fucking Latin culture, right? You should have an understanding of how Modelo is pronounced. It's just one of those things that you kind of just understand, right? <laughs> but Modelo, one more time. You, know, you order the alcohol on the list and it was like, you know, uh, Modelo, $18, you know, yeah. Coors, $18. But like Bud 14 Light. cents. Dude, eight bucks, <laughs> eight bucks. And they, it Modelo. Modella, you know, like I've literally never heard anybody pronounce a Modella Modella, but hey, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? I guess that's that's maybe the more authentic Guadalajara way of pronouncing Modella. Maybe Guadalajara is like a, it's like it's got its own different regional accent, right? So maybe that over in Modella, over in fucking Guadalajara, they pronounce Modelo's Modella, right? Maybe who knows? You never know. Guadalajara Modella, you never know. <laughs> Como se dice? <laughs> in this particular clip. I desperately, I was desperately waiting for Brendan to say his piece. When Eddie Bravo basically starts to give Brendan and Joe their flowers and starts to, you know, kind of give them praise for their vast knowledge of combat sports, I really wanted Brendan to answer Eddie Bravo's question about how do they find time to watch everything. A part of me feels like, again, maybe I'm reading too much into it because I'm a fucking redact, but a part of me thinks... Eddie Bravo isn't as dumb as he makes out to be. He kind of plays into it. He wants people to think he's crazy and dumb, but he's clearly not. I feel like this question, he was kind of taking the piss out of both of these guys. He was basically saying without saying, you guys pretend like you watch everything, but you don't. You just watch the main events here and there, but you act like you watch all the fucking combat sports, but you don't type of thing. That's the impression I kind of got from it. It wasn't as sincere of a question as he's trying to make it seem as. But... Joe answered it pretty sincerely, but I was desperately waiting for Brendan to answer and to kind of give his breakdown of what he does in a day and how he watches things. Because one thing we know for certain, Brendan doesn't do nothing. He doesn't, all he watches online, all he watches in terms of fight tape, I think, in my opinion, just my humble opinion, is the stuff he sees on Twitter. Clips he sees on Twitter or on Instagram pages, that's the only thing he watches. He doesn't actually sit there with a pad watching YouTube fucking replays and highlights or even downloading the full fight cards from previous times and shit and rewatching fights i don't think he does that in the slightest no way shape or form at most whatever he sees online on twitter and fucking instagram is what he kind of consumes but this question from fucking eddie brother was absolutely spectacular and i wanted brennan to answer it so badly but he didn't because he's smarter than that he's actually smarter than that so credit to brennan for kind of you know letting Brent joe talk and then him at the background saying yeah me too me too me too well, that car accident was fucking crazy. Did, Did you see it? the car accident that Errol Dude, Spence I didn't even know who Crawford was until four days ago. No, really? What? I don't pay attention to boxing. I don't got time for that. Oh I got, my God. I got if too many conspiracy guy... theory videos to watch. <laughs> 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 Dude, I don't got time for that. That's like, hilarious. Like, everybody got a little... Like, what I want to know with you guys, seriously, both of you guys, okay. you guys are fucking encyclo-fucking-pedias, not only with... Not only with MMA, 
MMA, but with fucking boxing and kickbox. When do you guys watch this shit? Tell me. When do you watch it? At night? All Before you go to bed? Before you? No, wh not where. When? When I'm eating breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is your fight time. S After Sutton, in the morning? I work out. I work out in the morning. Okay. And then what after time I'm do you work out? What time do you work out generally? Eight, <sighs> nine. Yeah, somewhere around then, and I'm done around noon. And then where? And that's usually when I eat. And then where do you eat? I eat in the kitchen. Here, my house. At your house, and yeah. then you have like like an iPad on. <laughs> no, my la my um, phone. So I watch when, when you eat breakfast, you want to watch fights. Yes. Okay. That's... Or I watch pool matches, or Damn. I watch muscle car videos. No, whatever. You Whoa. Do. This is the whole idea. Whoa. Keep it stupid. Yeah. Totally. I, yeah. Total distraction. Yeah. Total. I'm just I, looking like, for the art form in the boxing. And yeah. in pool, I'm looking at how they get out the patterns and muscle cars. I'm like, ooh. So at night when you go to sleep, you, you, you don't you don't use that for like kickboxing or boxing. Yeah. No, very Never. rarely. What do you do at night? <laughs> Chill. What do you watch? Watch TV shows like I watch Yellowstone <laughs> with your I'll, wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I watch like I, I was into Succession, <laughs> but we finished it. When do you when do you do conspiracy theory videos? Mm. <laughs> do, like I mean, there's guys. I mean, you, you know send a lot. Them to the generally, text. those you know are during lot. the day. People send me things. Yeah. Okay. But what I generally do, I don't watch too many videos. But it was funny though, because you hear Brendan in the background, like try, like trying to anticipate what Brendan was saying. Yeah, you, with your wife. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah, with your wife. <laughs> Can I be your wife, please? <laughs> Joe looks at him like nigga chill man let me answer so I really wanted Brendan to answer that question so badly I really wanted him to answer that question so badly but he did a good job of basically answering it himself by just agreeing with what Joe was saying in a really like hu like you know hushed tones yeah uh, uh, in the night in the evening in this, uh, uh, bro you don't watch anything and the evidence I think why he doesn't watch everything is because Shorb Show is one of his worst shows. I said it hands down. Shorb Show is definitely one of Brendan Shorb's worst shows under Thick Boy. Honestly, in my life, it's so terrible. And because the reason why it's so terrible is because he doesn't try to do any fucking research. He doesn't actually watch old, you know, fight cards. He doesn't watch anybody's fucking previous performances to figure out, you know, fight picks and shit. Like zero. He does absolutely zero, as he would say, right? Zero research. And I think that is what leads to the show being terrible because he just shows up and just reads shit on Wikipedia and MMA websites and shit and kind of keeps it moving. So it's incredibly low effort. And if he would do just a slight bit of work, it actually improved the show tenfold because he's already got the experience. He was an actual legit former UFC fighter, so he's already got a, a better base than most people out there. But he doesn't take advantage of it, doesn't use it to his advantage, and just does a bare minimum going through the motions, thinking it's going to be enough, and it's not. So I really wanted him to give his breakdown of what he does and how he's able to cover so many sports because he doesn't cover them. He doesn't watch them or anything. He just kind of sees what he sees on social media and keeps it moving. What are you guys saying in the chat? Joe really knows about combat sports, but doesn't. Yeah, for sure, I agree with that. Stinger Goo. Brendan's thinking up an answer. <laughs> Brendan wanting to get into the mothership. He's waiting for Joe to ask him. <laughs> I believe that thing that somebody said. Who said it? Somebody said that thing in the Find a Kid subreddit. Somebody that sounded like they knew what they were talking about and they were maybe in the know. Maybe somebody that works in a comedy mothership and they're being kind of covert. They basically said that Brendan did ask Joe if he could perform there, but Joe basically said he's not good enough. He basically just kind of was honest and said, hey, you're not currently at the level yet where you should be performing here. And then also, I think he then palmed off Brendan to um to the guy, Adam Eager, they, that he... um took from the comedy store to join him at the comedy mothership he was handling all the bookings and shit so that's what the guy i remember saying on firing the kid i'm pretty sure he said like rogan told brendan you're not good enough to play and then he also said hey when you are good enough you can come but then when you do come back you know talk to adam eager basically i don't do the bookings so i think that is actually true so i think brendan knows like, why he doesn't play there he knows he's not unaware which i think is what makes the relationship even more awkward because they've clearly had a conversation where Rogan's told him, hey, you're not funny, basically. <laughs> you know? like This is maybe... I don't know when this happened on the show, because I haven't watched all of it just yet. I don't know what stage of the show this happened, but I've got a feeling Brendan said this when he was maybe towards the end, because I feel like Brendan was noticing that the show wasn't going his way. Like, you know, he wasn't maybe clicking with the guys like he did in the past, and he was trying too hard to be liked and shit. So then he tried to do the thing what people do, where you just like, you know, you're panicking, and you just start saying stuff because you just want to 
get people interested in you again, right? You want them to like you again. So he admitted something he probably shouldn't have admitted, right? He probably should have this be common knowledge to people because, you know, it's just not the most, you know, safest thing to be saying aloud on the fucking podcast. But hey, whatever. Brendan is fucking Chief Keith out here. This is a Papa makes a stunning dumb admission, right? Let's play this clip. <laughs> uh, my shit was Eddie, fucking time done. To, time, time to move to Texas. Get yourself a gun. <laughs> Still carry. Oh, I got guns, Doc. I, I got know, guns. You don't have them in your car, though? No, no. I carry them. I, I did that for a while during like the height of all <laughs> the bullshit. Do. But I felt like, damn, if I get in, in, if I get like pulled over and they could throw me in jail, I'll take my chances. You know what I mean? Like when I'm doing sets at LA at night, I always have it with me. Shh. Jesus. Put that out there. In Texas. <laughs> when I'm in Texas. In LA at night when I'm in Texas. <laughs> LA, Texas, dog. What a weird thing to admit. Again, just wanting to flex and kind of, you know, seem like you're down with Rogan. Now he's Mr. Gunman. It's fucking amazing, man. But I, I got, you know, sympathy for the guy because I feel like this may have happened at a time where he felt like he was flailing. And, you know, no one was paying him attention. So let me throw out some bait there. Let me throw out some, you know, relatability stuff out there. Agree with them on the gun thing. Say I have, you know, say I'm strapped up in the Porsche. So everyone knows what going it is. So, yeah, Papa stays strapped um, just in case someone from PF Chang's rolls up and tries to say something to him in person. He's going to fucking blam them out of the fucking sky. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine Brendan one day like he gets accosted by um who's that guy? Who's my guy? Like um song is it Songbird? Something Songbird, the guy that's like um uh redacted, redacted. Imagine that guy rocks up to Brendan one day and tries to fucking ten seven him or something, and then Brendan just pulls out the blammy and just shoots him in the face. <laughs> something so yeah, exactly. Um sorry gone bird, yeah, exactly. It's so, so <laughs> imagine he just blams him that would be fucking hilarious actually I wonder where I would fall I don't think he'd want to blam me do you think Brendan would want to blam me I don't think so I wonder where I'd be in terms of the le in terms of the level of blaming like if it was a tier list or if it was like a if it went from 1 to 10 who would be number 1 in terms of Brendan's person that he would want to blam probably probably unique isn't it maybe unique Maybe unique. I wouldn't say red bar. Should I say red bar? I don't, I don't, I don't think it, red bar. Probably unique first. And then who? I don't know who'd be second, actually. I don't think he want to blame me second. I might come in like sixth or eighth. Maybe, right? <laughs> Maybe. It's, oh, yeah, BGL. Yeah, Trisha G. BGL. I forgot about him. BGL. Um, Ero Hawani. Yeah, top three. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Stingagoo. Yes, exactly. S Song in, um, Unique for sure. BGL second. Ariel Hawani third. Annie Liederman won't be top five, I don't think. No. Trash Tuesdays. No, Josie. I don't think I don't think he's Annie Liederman like that. I don't think he'll be top, top three. Yeah, Gavin Newsom. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin Newsom, aka Kim Jong un. Um, yeah, Kalila maybe. I also, I don't think Kalila. I probably, he probably still wants to fuck Kalila. I can't, I can't think, man. Top five, but yeah. Unique for sure, number one. BGL. Um, and then who's the other one? Ariel Hawani for sure. Maybe Nate Diaz. Yeah, maybe Nate Diaz. Maybe. Maybe Nate Diaz. Oh, yeah, Shuma Koko. Jorge. Jorge Taranda. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Jorge Torado. Yes, you're right there. Definitely Shuma Koko. He's definitely number four. Page Frequency. <sighs> That's a good one, isn't it? Base frequency, yeah. I think those are top good top five, that one. That's a good top five. Unique BGL. Uh who's the other one? Unique BGL. Who's the other one? We said. As a top three. Unique BGL Ariel. Shun Makoko. And then what's his face? Dana. Yeah, Dana. Yeah, Dana has to be a top five. Yes, Dana. Dana. Shun Makoko. BGL. Ariel Hawani. That's a pretty big five. And then I think the rest of us will come after. Me, Too Late to Try. <laughs> um, the 10 Minutes of Shorbs guys. Uh, who else? Red Bar probably don't, because I don't think he probably give, give a shit about Red Bar. Red Bar doesn't really talk about him that much. Yeah, all of all of us channels will come in after all those guys, I think. We'll be the other half, right? <laughs> we'll be the other half. <laughs> Oh, brother, I fucking love it.